are the ice cream sundae, a uniquely American invention, a tasty treat set to mirror the essential character of our great nation. Rolled and varied with many different colors and flavors, from vanilla white to maple tan to deep chocolate. Offered in a variety of shapes and sizes, each ice cream sundae is an individual celebration. Refreshing, delicious, with warm, runny syrup. Maybe a bit splashy, but always served with a cherry on top, confirming its specialness. So, where did this unique and celebrated creation come from? There are four locations that claim to be the home of the ice cream sundae. Ithaca, New York, Evanston, Illinois, Plainfield, Illinois, and Two Rivers, Wisconsin. All proclaim themselves as the birthplace of the Sunday, complete with documentation, tall tales, and lip-smacking stories from yesteryear. So sit back and relax as we scoop up these tasty tales and separate fact from fiction in our quest to find the real answers to the mysterious origin of the ice cream sundae. We're here in downtown Plainfield, Illinois, in front of the building that housed the pharmacy and soda fountain of Charles Sontag. Plainfield believes that not only did Charles Sontag invent the ice cream sundae, but he named it after himself because Sontag in German means sundae. The early stories about Evanston tell the, tell the story of the ice cream sundae and its invention here. So I think that lends some credibility to our story as the as the inventor of the ice cream sundae. Yeah. Now, there, there are many stories around the country, stories of the ice cream sundae being invented by a Yeti out in the Pacific Northwest, uh, uh, some aliens in Area 51 inventing the ice cream. Two Rivers, Wisconsin has a similar story about the ice cream sundae being invented. The, those myth, folk tales, they're wonderful in, our, in our, our history, but here in Ithaca, we have evidence. We're celebrating the 135th anniversary of the invention of the sundae here and uh, by Ed Berners, 1881 at Berners Ice Cream Parlor. We'll probably serve up about 3,025 cents Sundays here tonight at our municipal band concert and Sunday Thursday celebration. We know there's some other places that claim credit. Um, Evanston, Illinois, Ithaca, New York. We hear they got a new mayor and for Mayor Savanti, we'd really like to mix it up with him a little bit. But truly, this is America's dairy land coolest city in Wisconsin, we are the home of the ice cream sundae. Topped with chocolate or with cherries and with lots of nuts, try to claim our sundae and we'll kick your butt. Two Rivers, I heard the fight song. It's almost as bad as your claim is. <laughs> we have a large Wisconsin historic marker on the other side of Central Park. We've seen what Ithaca has. It's kind of a pathetic little plaque in the sidewalk. And when it comes to pride and ice cream sundae, size does matter, as Bernie and all the others here will attest to. We've got proof right here in black and white that the city of Ithaca is home to the ice cream sundae. Now all they've got in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, is a plaque. Now forgive my Ronald Reagan, but until you have proof, Mr. Buckley, tear down that plaque. Hey Ithaca, do we have a scoop for you? Not only sauce, nuts to you Ithaca, nuts to you. So, what is the truth? Our research team has visited each of these locations, examined the documentation, uncovered never before facts, and discovered what we think is the real answer to the claim as to who invented the ice cream sundae. Please join us now as we uncover the clues and seek to solve the mysterious origin of the ice cream sundae.